Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just woke up, probably got about four hours sleep last night. So if you don't know, I got a new job, but that means night shift. So last night was my first night shift, 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. You know me, I'm the biggest nana there is. Don't contact me after 8.30, sorry. So it was only 6 p.m. last night and I was like yawning at work and I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Anyway, so I made it. I got home and suddenly I had like this intense sugar craving. So what did I do? At 2.45 in the morning, I had two donuts and I don't wanna say it too loud because my brother will be angry with me that I stole his Nutella, but I had spoonfuls of Nutella. Anyway, this morning I did not wake up feeling great at all. I woke up with the biggest headache and I was so bloated and I just feel so sick. So I'm sipping on my trusty warm lemon water. The biggest natural detoxifier you'll ever find in your life, seriously. It's a game changer. And it's a big day and you know what one of the most important things I have to do today? I need a light bulb. Only one light works. And my room is so dark at night, I can't do anything. And it's such a mess right now and my excuse every time I get home from work or whatever is I can't clean it, I can't see in my room. I gotta fix that. So I just walked through the bush. I actually saw a snake that was half chopped up. His head was like, ugh. That was kind of gross, but it was kind of cool at the same time. I already feel with the fresh air so much better and I can feel that lemon water really kicking in now. So I just got back from my walk. So let me show you what I'm dealing with right now. I think I feel worse than it looks, I'll admit, but it's not a good feeling. It's just so, ugh, pudgy. And then it's just, I just like, I feel like I can't breathe. So I'm about to go head off to the brunch. So I will show you what I'm gonna eat to help Suck it back in. My biggest healthy tip for everyday life, take your drink bottle with you. If you've got it with you, you will just drink out of water. There's nothing better for you than water. Hi from Parramatta. It reminds me of the time we got up at 4 a.m. and we went to an up to see. The Jenners. Yes, Kendall and Kylie. We woke up at like two. Well, it was like the first 200 people there got a wristband and you get to come back later in the afternoon, you're guaranteed to meet the girls and like hang out with them, whatever. And I was like, surely. It was like a Wednesday. It was like, what kids yeah, are gonna was. be out on a Wednesday? Next minute we got there at like 4 a.m. And it <laughs> was a line of like 500 people. It was like, well, what the hell? They were all staying overnight. I was like, don't you realize you're not all gonna make it through? Anyway, we went home and we were like crying ourselves to sleep. Okay, I'm not stingy, but um, <laughs> I have principles. Spinach and avocado cannot be the same price. That is not okay. So, Coles is literally just at the end there. I needed to get it anyway, don't judge me. I am gonna go and buy myself some spinach to add to my meal because I ain't paying for that. I'm judging you right now. I know you are, <laughs> but like, I'm not even, I'm not even embarrassed. I stand by my principle. Avocado could not be the same price as baby spinach. Thank you. Oh, this is <laughs> Oh my god. Does it, does it think I'm that bad? I don't. Look at this. Let's not forget that I have baby spinach. So as I picked up my baby spinach, that was, by the way, washed and ready to eat. I added it to my plate. I'm gonna just give me some salmon, mushrooms, avocado. Is this the Habibi board? No, it's not the Habibi board. But I wish we had the Habibi board. Here in Trusty Bunnings, looking to find this particular light bulb, light globe, light bulb. I don't actually know if I got the right ones. They kind of looked similar, so I'm just I just bought two, and hopefully they work. If not, now I am just heading over to Woolworths to do a quick grocery shop of the essentials. If you ask my brother, he comes home with the essentials every couple of days. Essentials include donuts, um, chocolates, chips, lollies. If it doesn't include spinach, it is not an essential. Like I said before, the one thing that you should definitely bring on when you're trying to de bloat is just bring your water everywhere. Just got home, I'm gonna cook up a storm with everything that I just bought. I'm really excited for these mushrooms. I am obsessed with mushrooms, but still, then I'm snacking on another bowl. That's so good. I've 
your money. Yes, at lunchtime, I like to go out of the office because firstly, I'm not used to just sitting around for nine hours at a time in a stuffy place. There are no windows or anything, so I'm like, I need to get out. And you know, I have no friends, so like, it's fine. I can just go out. I usually go for a little jog and then there are heaps of staircases and I, you know, do some stair climb. The main reason being these bunch of boys and they're always topless and they run the stairs. So I kind of join in because, you know, they haven't asked me out yet. So over the last few weeks, I've actually been doing a bit more research about bloating because like I said, I'm really feeling it. And I've learned that I'm actually very sensitive to kale. As much as I love kale, let me just tell you what happened. So last night I was gonna go to boxing and I cooked that meal and I got so tired. I mean, I ate all the knuckles that I had for the rest of the week. When I'm cooking, I eat like everything. So I was eating all of my food that I was cooking as well. Went for a little nap about 4.30, but I didn't wake up till like midnight. So anyway, it was too late for life. I usually have those nut balls for breakfast, but I had no more. So I took some of the mushrooms that I made up last night. I was so bloated this morning again. So I did more research to find that mushrooms actually are made up with the same sort of components as the kale is. Worse than not being able to eat kale because I'm obsessed with mushrooms. Yeah, so sometimes you're eating really healthy and it's not like the sh bad artificial sugars that make you bloated or whatever you're eating. It might just be the components that it's made up of my beautiful mushroom. You guys, this is the staircase that my hot boys that haven't asked me out yet run up. I'm a bit early today, so that's probably what it is. I mean, they're not running away from me or anything. It's just, it's just that I'm early. One down, five to I've been getting money, I've been getting I just ran the stairs like six times. Update, my dinner last night consisted of cake and chips. It was my friend's birthday, but still, that was my dinner. Now, what did I tell you yesterday? When you come to the stairs at the right time, the hot guy's high jumping. Okay, let's go. So that was the boys. Obviously, I couldn't get too much closer because I was already stalking them, and I swear they knew it. Oh, I videoed the part where he was running up the stairs. I kid you not, they jump. They skip like two steps and they jump. I mean, I'm puffed and I finished working out like 15 minutes ago. I've just been watching the boys who still haven't asked me out. I mean, I'm stalking them, so didn't they get the hint? I'm really interested. I've just woke up. It's been a few days and I'm feeling so much better. How cute is my top actually? Fit is the new black. So it has been a few days. Still a little bit broader, but trying to work out what it actually is. I have been eating mushrooms, so that could be it but such a big difference from before. So I hope this video helped you in some sort of way and taught you how to dig bloat when you are bloated. Because my God, I don't know about you, but I really hate that feeling. I just, it just, it's so uncomfortable. I was talking to my mom about it the other day and she was like, it's not such a bad thing. I was like, no, I like feel really sick. It's all about trial and error. You kind of have to find the foods that make you feel gross because what makes you feel gross might not make your friend feel gross, for instance. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you like the video as well. Until then, I will see you next time in my new vlog. Bye!